Hey guys, it's Joanne. Welcome back. Um, we are going to be doing a quick little Timu haul today. Just wiping down the counter a little bit so that we have a nice clean surface. All right, thank you so much for that. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into it. I decided to get some transfer tape for vinyl. I'm working with vinyl a little bit more and this was pretty cheap. So I'm like, all right, let's try this out. It came a little squishy. The one thing I don't like about Timu is they throw everything in that bag and then it just gets squished to heck. Um, so this is how it looks, comes with the red grid. We'll have to test it to see just how sticky or if it's too sticky, not sticky enough. Um, I do need to look for like a paper, transfer tape for paper. Um, I use contact paper though, so that might be all right for a regular paper. All right, so there is our um, transfer tape. I did order these little bags, little mailers. Thought they were cute, turquoise. They're small. I knew they were going to be small. Um, so closed up. They are about six inches by three, like inside wise, probably about three and a half. So yeah, just for sending some little little trinkets or something, stickers or. I do make um, car air fresheners, like one air freshener would fit perfectly in there. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think you get 10 in here. 12, you get 12. <laughs> two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Yep, there's 12. All right. Uh, this we have out just because we got that last time, but I have a few things that um, I got that I just want to kind of dump in there and, and show you guys. Uh, I got these bags. I thought these were cute at Easter time. I had some Easter um, Easter bags like this with big bunny ears that um, I gave my older son and his girlfriend for Easter. And I um, put their name on it with the um, heat press and it looked really cute. So I was like, let me just have some of these bags and we can definitely, you know, for different occasions, iron some stuff on there. Hopefully it's, it's um, good, like burlap doesn't really work, but this looks like it's a nice canvas, so this should work. And does it tell us how many of these we are getting? It doesn't say, but they're four by six. Four by six, I think we get about 10. We probably get 10, 10 in there. Okay, um, next, save those. Got this, Let's save those. I got these pens. Take everything out of here. Okay, so I got these pens. I actually thought that they were going to be highlighters, but they're not. So once again, ordering stuff that I'm like, what the hell am I gonna do with this now? So you get, I don't know, you get a lot of colors. Some of them you get duplicate colors. This one's called grass green. That's nice. Blue. So actually what they are, is they're not highlighters let me just show you they're um they're just like regular fine tooth pens really I mean I guess they're neat because they have like this inky inky part and it just kind of goes up into the top I don't know yeah so I mean they write okay I'm not a big fan of the fine tip pens so these might go off in like swaps and stuff Sometimes I like to give like a little pen or a little notepad or something like that. So we'll probably just save those or something like that. Um, next up, let's see, trying to be quick. We're on our lunch break here. Um, we only have a half hour, but I'm trying to do this so that I don't eat lunch. <laughs> okay, so this next item here, I think it's some sort of tool. And so it looks like a pen. We open it up and then it clicks like a pen, but I think it's sharp. So I think it might be, I, uh, I don't know. Let's see. So if we go like that, no, it didn't do anything. If I press harder, there, there it does, right? If I press harder with the pen, 
I'm thinking I got this for, you know, when you're weaving vinyl and a piece or two might like still kind of be stuck to, to itself and you don't want to rip it. Um, I think this would probably be a good tool to use for that. Um, so yep, that's why we got that. Next up, um, these are some chains. So let's just dump them in here. Looks like a couple of them fell apart a little bit. Um, random color mixing. All right, so you get 40 pieces and they're just small, small chains, right? So wouldn't those be great? Like for just hanging some dangles to your, your pens or your pokey tools that we're making now. Yeah, see, it looks like some of them fell apart, but it's probably just because they cut them. So it's probably just the last piece on a lot of them, you know, but they all look about maybe two inches, two inches long. So, all right, whatever. Let's put those back. Okay. Not too bad, right? <clears throat> I know I wanted to do another color theme and that's where these came in. Um... But I didn't do it, and then I had, like, a $10 credit, so I was like, all right, let's just get some stuff. Now, these are some spacers, again, for <clears throat> the, the bead pens, right? So I had spacers, but the hole in the middle was not big enough. So this is just a variety. They have, um, you know, like, gems, like, diamondy gems attached to each one. So this should look nice with the, the beads, because I haven't come up with a good combination yet of of what beads to use you know so actually I'm just gonna toss these right in here this is kind of where I'm keeping some of my stuff for these pens until I can get it all organized so I'll put those in there I don't have any pokey tool thingies but all right and then the last thing I got were these uh, again, for the pens, I'm not sure why I went this way. My daughter just became an RN, so I'm just like, I don't know, all over that stuff right now. A little bit, not too much, but a little bit. Um, so these are little, they were for nurses, but I mean, for any healthcare, right? Even if you just work in a doctor's office or something. So these are also um, for the, and what do they call these? A focal bead, I think. Like when you put them on a pen, that's like the, the main focal. And they have a ton of these on Timu um, that if I can get my combination down right and I could find, you know, a way to make these pens more, I don't know, lucrative or just, you know, find more people that I can, I can um, send them to or give like a church. Maybe I can get like a churchy kind of thing going or that. All right, guys, that is everything that we received in our Timu haul, right? Was that everything? Yes. And except for the spacers, which I put in there, um, which I'm probably going to pull back out just to take a quick pic. All right, guys, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be going back to work now. Ta-ta.